My name is Sam Richardson, and uh, I'm a 1961 graduate of Marshtown College, 1959 graduate of Marshtown College High School. My high school class was the last historically black high school in Marshtown to, to finish from the college. I went to Tennessee State after graduating from Marshtown College and came back to Marshtown and worked at the college part-time for one semester, 1965. Went back and got state certification in library science in 1966, and I worked at the library at Marshtown College until 1988. In 1973, I was made director of the library at Marshtown College, and I was there until it closed in 1988. The high school was unique in that it was operated by the city, but funded by the city for the college. So we had college instructors in math, uh, science, and foreign language, and that was a great opportunity for us, you know, to have a college instructors there teaching college classes and teaching high school classes. And the curriculum was pretty broad. We could either take Spanish or French. And we had professors who had been abroad and taught that were teaching there at Marstown College. And so that was a big plus by having the college instructors on campus. And the atmosphere, we always tried to conduct ourselves like the college students, you know, the ninth grade and 10th grade, and you're on the campus with a college student, so you try to uh, pattern yourself after them. And uh, also during that time, there were a lot of activities. The college were really the hub of the city for Marshtown for activities, cultural events, sporting events, uh, they had outstanding speakers to come and speak during the school year. And a lot of the instructors that came to Marshtown, they came because of the college. And if there was no Marshtown College at that time, a lot of the instructors uh, would not have came to Marshtown. And some of them met their husband and wives in Marshtown, and uh, some of them are still living here in the city. And Marshtown had an economic act, uh, impact on the city. You figure two or three hundred students uh, spending money in the city of Morristown over a uh, over, over hundred years. So that's a great uh, economic and, uh, impact that the college had on the city. Most of them came from Morristown, but several uh, counties bus students, like from Granger County to Morristown and Tazewell. And those kids would leave early in the morning, ride the bus over 25E to Morristown. They'd, leave home in the dark, and they had to go back home in the dark. And, uh, so Granger County, Tazewell, Rutledge, uh, we had students from those areas also. And also by being a boarding school, we had a lot of out-of-state students. Students came from New York, Chicago, Michigan, uh, California. So it was that diversity group on campus. And ever since the beginning of the, camp, of the college, they had students from Africa who came and uh, attended Marshtown College. Uh, a couple of years ago, a lady came to do some research on a distant relative, relative of hers from Africa and just happened that we had the information and she was able to get it and a photograph it and take it back to a family reunion. Then on a college campus, you know, uh, a lot different from a community college. You see the students all day social events, you eat with them. And the day-to-day -day operation was assisting students in doing research. Uh, some students have never did research in high school, so you're kind of teaching them how to do that. Uh, my first job was a teacher, but at Marshtown you were also teaching also, and helping students with the research, uh, show them how to write papers, footnotes, and things of that sort. And also I helped with uh, extracurricular activities, at small private schools, you always have two or three other jobs that you have to do. So social events, uh, faculty and staff uh, participated in, and like I said, athletic events. Uh, I was a assistant coach for a few years, so you get involved with the students because you see them all day in the library, dining hall, and social events. Okay. From my knowledge, the college, even though it was a two-year school, on, they played a lot of four-year schools, Knoxville College, Alabama A&M. At one time, Bluefield State was a powerhouse in uh, black football. 
uh, a lot of schools in North and South Carolina that uh, college played. And on the high school level, Austin was our big rivalry at the time. They were a predominating powerhouse school in East Tennessee. And also Nelson Murray and Jefferson City, that was our arch rival. Uh, it was just 12 miles away. And the players, you know, everybody knew each other, so that was almost like a hometown rivalry there. And uh, the college won quite a few championships, even though it was a two-year institution. They competed against four-year institutions and were very successful. And during the time I was at Morristown, we had a student by the name of Wilbur Holland. And as far as I know, he was the only uh, player in the Tennessee Junior College Athletic Association that played professional basketball. He played with the Atlanta Hawks and the Chicago Bulls. He came to Marshtown from Phoenix City, Alabama, and he wasn't admitted at some other schools because of some grades. So he came to Marshtown, improved his academic work, and he transferred to the University of New Orleans where he made Little All-American, and from there he went to pro uh, basketball. Well, on college level, when I was in elementary and high school, uh, as a Boy Scout, we would go to the college football games at Burke Tony Stadium, and we were vendors, you know, concessionaires and stuff. And I spent more of my time watching the football game than <laughs> selling uh, drinks and hot dogs and popcorns during the game. But homecoming at the college was a big event. A lot of alumni came back in the fall for homecoming. So, like I said, the city of uh, Morristown, they looked forward to the events on the campus because it was the uh, major attraction for black Americans in Marshtown. And we were able to have Alex Haley on our campus, uh, Henry Aaron, uh, Harry Edwards, outstanding speakers who came to Marshtown to speak at commencement and Founders Day programs. The uh, mission of the college changed. If you look at the history, it had six or seven different names. It used to be a seminary, uh, normal school, 